This is Lilith of Dragon Age Origins. She is a mage in the Circle of Magi. Let us begin. Normal. On a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhad stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the Circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the Circle Tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinta Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the Dream Realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon armed with only your will. What happens if I cannot defeat the demon? It will turn you into an abomination, and the Templars will be forced to slay you. This is Lyrium, the very essence of magic, and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you keep your wits about you. And remember, the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The Apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready. So this is what the Fade looks like. Lovely. A little Fade healing magic. Well, all right.
<clears throat> Sustained abilities. Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. You're a talking rat. <laughs> you think you're really here? In that body? You look like that because you think you do. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me, well, Mouse. No, you took the harrowing, I take it. It's fuzzy, that time before. They wake you up in the middle of the night and drag you to the harrowing chamber. And then, the Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim. And you don't have much time before you end up the same. You didn't really answer my question. How long do I have, exactly? I... I don't remember. I ran away and I hid. I don't know how long. Yeah, that's not gonna happen to me. That has been said before, but you don't know the danger. There's something here, contained. Just for an apprentice like you, you have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you, a tease for the creatures of the Fade. Huh. I don't understand why this test is so feared. You would be a fool to just attack everything you see. What you face is powerful, cunning. There are others here. Other spirits. They will tell you more. Maybe help. If you can believe anything you see. I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago. But you, you may have a way out. Isn't that special? A dangerous spirit is not far. Have a Don't go rat. near it unless you're ready to fight. That you mean over where here? Will take place. Where's the, the demon you're can talking be anywhere, about? Oh. But it manifests there. Okay. As you desire. Another spirit this way. It never seemed equal to its name to me. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. Fight each other? We're not warriors. They would have you battle a demon. <clears throat> With magic or weapon, to be the victor makes you a warrior still. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. What else do you know about the harrowing? Is that what your test is called? I know little of your mortal ways. I do know that a demon has been called told that a meal awaits. It will not, 
cannot leave until one of you is dead. I need your help. Of course. You are not the first mortal to seek my aid. I am not here to assist you, however. My purpose is to seek perfection, creating the ultimate weapon for the pursuit of valor. Would one of those weapons affect the demon? Without a doubt. In this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. I agree to your duel, Valor. As you wish, mortal. We battle until I am convinced you are strong enough to defeat your demon. If you do not convince me, I will slay you. Are these rules understood? Oh yes, I understand perfectly. Our duel begins now. Fight with Valor! And so I shall. Enough. Your strength is sufficient to the task. The staff is yours. Of course it is. <laughs> Attack. Star. There is nothing else I can do for you. You have Valor's Star. There is nothing else I can do for you. You can die. I'd like for you to die. You're gonna kill me. I should be able to kill you. Fair is fair. Cautious, there is another spirit here. Not the one hunting you, but still. Oh, relax, rat. It's just a big fat bear. Hey, Chevy. Hmm. So, you are the mortal being hunted. And the small one, is he to be a snack for me? Sure. I don't like this. He's not going to help us. We should go. <sighs> he looks hungry. No matter. The demon will get you eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. Why wait for scraps? Come get some now. <laughs> I'll just run away. I'll no. not waste time with a chase. Really? Oh. Not even for a meal. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. 
I need help defeating a demon. You have a very nice staff. Why would you need me? Go. Use your weapon, since you have earned it. Be valorous. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean, teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? I thought you were here to help. You're just a coward. A coward could not have endured as I have. The time I have spent waiting for... for some possibility of release. But you are right. Hiding doesn't help. I'm sorry, it's the Fade. It changes you. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear. If you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching... <laughs> It's so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm. I told you he wasn't going to help us. You give up too easily, Rat. You can't just suggest something and then change your mind, Tubby. I can't. No. You have so much to learn about the Fade, little mortal. Mouse wants to learn. Now you're going to teach him. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. Teach Mouse the bear form, or I will kill you. Foolish mortal, do you really wish to anger me? I may be slothful. But I can be roused. Step back and return to your silly business with the demon, or suffer the consequences. <laughs> uh, no. Another creature ahead. Enough. You are a pest, and not worth all this exertion. Uh -huh. I will teach the mouse to be the bear, if only to get rid of you. Like this? Am I a bear? It feels... heavy. Hmm. Close enough. Go then, and uh, defeat your demon, or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. I've taught the mouse. Do not assist in bothering me. I'm tired. So I shall. <laughs> Silly puppies.
my word! <laughs> oh my! Delightful! There, bit of rage. And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. Then come and get me if you can. Oh, I shall. So, this creature is your offering, Mouse. Another plaything as per our arrangement. Arrangement. I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now. And soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. As you desire. I'm sick of hiding! Piece of cake. You could have just given you up. You did now. it. You actually did it. When you came, I hoped that maybe you might be able to. But I never really thought any of you were worthy. It's all a little too easy. That is because you are a true mage. One of the few. The others, they never had a chance. The Templars set them up to fail, like they tried with you. I regret my part in it. But you have shown me that there is hope. You can be so much more than you know. So what is it that you think you can get from me? You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help. There may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. 
You just need to want to let me in. I'm starting to think the other demon wasn't my pass. What? What are you... Yeah. Of course what? it was. Of course. What else is here that could harm an apprentice of your potential? <laughs> uh. <laughs> you are a smart one. Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions, careless trust, pride. Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. Are you all right? Say something, please. Jowan? Oh, I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from Harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? It was a test of ability, that's all. There must be something more, or they'd tell the apprentices what's involved. I know I'm not supposed to know, but we're friends. Just a little hint, and I'll stop asking, I promise. I had to enter the Fade. Really? That's it? And if a demon possesses you, they kill you. That makes sense. They want to see if you can resist a demon and stop yourself from becoming an abomination. And now you get to move to the nice mage's quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. I passed my test. That's all I care about. Oh, I see. I've been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. You're probably not ready yet. I've been ready for a long time. I'm afraid they don't want me to take the test. You do the harrowing, the rite of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. What does this have to do with you? If they don't call apprentices to the harrowing, it probably means... Tranquility. You've seen the Tranquil around the tower. Like a Wayne who runs the stockroom. He's so cold. No, not even cold. There's just... Nothing in him. It's like he's dead but still walking. His voice, his eyes, are lifeless. I think you're reading too much into it. I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. Yeah, I should go talk to him immediately. Should have told me before. You'd better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. Did you hear anything? Is she all right? Is she awake? Why do you care? Are you best friends now? I'm just curious. That Templar, Cullen, said it was the quickest, cleanest harrowing he'd ever seen. He says she's very talented and very brave. Well, he would, wouldn't he? I just know I'll be terrified when my time comes. Like Wendell was. He'd throw up every day for the next week just thinking about it. Lovely. Congratulations on your test.
Yes, is there something you need? That's a big door. Yes, it is. Do you need something, or are you just here to state the obvious? Can you open the door? <laughs> the night commander would have my head if I did that. Besides, I hear it takes no less than four grown men to open this door. I can't leave, then? No, you may not. I'm surprised you ask. I would have thought you'd be used to this idea by now. Why can't I leave? Only mages on official circle business are allowed to leave the tower, and the first enchanter has not informed us of any mages leaving the tower today. Is this the only way out of the tower? The only safe one, as far as I know. There are windows on the higher levels, but surely you don't need me to warn you of the dangers of leaping from them. It never ends well. Hmm. What's out there? For Eldon, it's not very interesting. Mostly farms, the occasional river. I should get going. Make a smile fortune on you. Did you hear? Hear what? I heard they suspect someone of dabbling in blood magic. Why would anyone do something so stupid? That's a death sentence. Venus. That's what I hear anyway. Well, all right. As you desire. You must control the fire with your will. Keep the flame steady. We don't want it sputtering and leaping about. That's what causes most of the injuries. Injuries? But, but, but... Steady. It reacts to your emotions. If you panic, it will... No, no, no. Just breathe. <laughs> uh, you know, in my experience, flint and tinder works just as well. Maybe we should start with that. <laughs> Do you remember what the Chantry says about magic? Magic must serve man, and not rule over him. Very good. And what do you think that means? Can anyone tell me? Only boys can do magic. Hey! No, that's not what it means. It means that magic should be used to help people, but we can't use our magic to... to force people to do... Concentrate! Hold the shield! <laughs> If I had put all my power behind that spell, you would have been obliterated. I am not your enemy. Fear is your enemy. It is a weakness that can be exploited. Should you face a demon with your will wavering so, it to would be consume done with the you. Harrowing. Is that what you want? <laughs> no. Then stand firm and know you can resist whatever I put in. Again.
Well, all right. <clears throat> You're not going to keep the first enchanter waiting, are you? Oh, you party pooper. And so I shall. Well, all right. You look well. That's wonderful. I was throwing up for a full week after my harrowing. It's delirium that does that, I think. Oh, um, uh, hello. I, uh, I'm glad to see your harrowing went smoothly. Why are you stuttering? What? I, I'm fine. I, uh, I, I'm just glad you're all right, you know? I thought all Templars like killing mages. Maybe some, but not me. It's my duty to hunt down apostate mages, but... I do so with a heavy heart. I shouldn't distract you from your duties. Oh, you're not distracting. I mean, you are, but, well, you're not. I mean, you can talk to me anytime, if you want. Uh, uh, yes. Maybe we can talk another time. You can, uh, come and talk to me anytime you like. be moved out of the apprentice's dormitory and these are to be your new quarters. The Tranquil will move your belongings this afternoon. Go on, make yourself comfortable. Oh, excuse me, I didn't hear you come in. I'm sorry, I'm terribly busy right now. I have to prepare the room before the Grey Warden is done at his meeting with Irving. What's the Grey Warden? They are an order of brave and noble warriors, sworn to give their lives to defeat the Darkspawn. You know, I almost became a Grey Warden once. I thought you said you were busy. Ah, yes, I am. I just get carried away sometimes. I apologize and wish you a good day. <laughs> uh. ah, already been here. That's not likely. The Chantry would do something before it came to that. Will they? They haven't done anything, and I've heard that the Equitarians are starting to soften a little on the Libertarian position. Sympathy for the position isn't the same as support. Yet. As far as I know, most Equitarians prefer to remain allied with the Loyalists. 
You can see why, don't you? Just think of what the Chantry would do if suddenly the Circles were petitioning for more independence or even a split. Won't be pretty. Ah, the short-sighted libertarians. They'll get their way and take us all down with them. I think someone's here to speak to you, Senior Torres. Lovely. Hello. Were you looking for something? Just books. Well, there are lots of them here. What were you talking to that other mage about? Oh, the fraternities. Groups of mages with a common agenda. <sighs> I think we should all be isolationists. Stay in some remote mountain town far away from the mundanes who hate us. If we run away, they'll never learn not to fear us. They'll never learn that. They don't want to. I'd go hide alone in the wilds if I could. But you know they just brand me an apostate and hunt me down. There is no leaving the circle. It's till death do us part. Romantic, isn't it? Who are you? I'm Njal, a mage just like you. I've seen you around, haven't I? I must have. Well, I can't say to chat. Gotta go see the first enchanter. Alright, have a good day. Do you need something? If not, step back. You're in my light. I'll stand where I please. I'm trying to study. Have some consideration for a fellow mage. You're just an apprentice, not a mage. I will be soon. I have studied hard, and this opportunity will not pass me by. This is a chance for me to prove I can achieve as much as any human. Many humans believe elves are only fit to be servants. I agree. We should show them. We should be better mages than humans. Our ancestors must have been great wielders of magic. With most of our history lost, I suppose I'll never really know. Maybe the Dalish elves would, but I'd never met one. Lost history? When elves were taken on as slaves, we lost most of our culture. Few of us even know our own language. I hear the Dalish try to keep the old ways alive. Must be easier for them outside human rule. I wish I knew the old language. As do I. Perhaps one day I will have the chance to learn it. Are you from an alienage? I'm from a farm outside High Ever. My mother worked as the cook's assistant there. Hmm, interesting. I was abandoned at the Chantry in Lothering. I suppose it doesn't matter where we're from, does it? We're in the circle now. That's not a better life. I am satisfied knowing the humans who look down upon me will fear me instead. But I should get back to my books. Thank you for talking with me. Good day. I like the way he thinks. Four schools of magic creation. As you desire. Empty books shelf. Okay. The four book schools of magic primal. Hierarchy of the Circle. Owain 
Jane's in charge of the stock room. And so I shall. The right of annulment. <clears throat> Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. What are you doing? Bless. Oh, hello. I'm reciting the Maker's blessings. Would you like to join me? I think not. I recite the Maker's blessings every day. It brings me peace in troubled times. I don't find comfort in such things. It gives me hope that one day the Maker will hear us, that maybe I'll be forgiven and my curse will be lifted. I don't think the Maker really cares. Then why would our transgressions hurt him so? If he didn't care, he would not have left. I fear my magic will remain a constant reminder of how mankind has failed the Maker. You're being foolish. Magic is a gift. Magic causes such misery. It's dangerous and vile and wicked. It's the fun. Chantry must protect the world from us. Being born with something so terrible must be a punishment. I wish I could be rid of it. You could ask me to be made tranquil. That takes the magic from me? It does, doesn't it? Someone like you is better off as a tranquil anyway. Imagine. No fear of becoming an abomination. Not being reviled by common folk in Chantry. I should go. My mentor only allows a few minutes each day for religious contemplation. Don't forget to get your lobotomy. I heard about your harrowing. Congratulations. Andraste must have smiled upon you. No. I'm just smarter than the demons. The Maker. And the Chant of Light. And the Blight. <clears throat> Oops. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wyn, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. What's going on? Nothing concerning you at this moment. <laughs> Come, child. This is... Yes, this is she. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then... Uh... Where was I? Oh, yes. This is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. What's he doing here? You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the King's army at Ostagar. I would like to defend Ferelden. With the Darkspawn invading, we need all the help we can get. Especially from the Circle. What do you mean? The power you mages wield is an asset to any army. Your spells are very effective against large groups of mindless darkspawn. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry, the poor girl. Oh, with no, talk not of at all. blights and darkspawn. This is a happy day for her. 
We live in troubled times, my friend. We should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of Magi. Thank you so much, First Enchanter. I'm sorry, what is this phylactery? Blood is taken from all apprentices when they first come to the tower, and is preserved in special vials. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. Yep, we yep, yep. have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. Thank you so much, First Enchanter. I am glad to be a part of the circle. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing oh, with no. those who have not undergone oh. the right. Of course now not. then, take your time to rest, or study in the library. The day is yours. I will do that, First Enchanter. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? Doesn't he know where his quarters are? Oh, it would be my pleasure, First Enchanter. The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Of course. Should. Very important. Lovely. Blood magic, the forbidden school. Hmm. Don't dawdle. Yes, first and Janet. You can uh, come and talk to me any time you like. Thank you for escorting me. Is there something else I can do for you? What's happening outside the tower? Ah, I imagine you don't leave very often, do you? <laughs> no, not really. Princesses are not allowed to leave. I am not a good source of news, I fear. I am preoccupied with the Darkspawn incursion. Hmm, how many mages have joined the King's army? When the King sent out the call, the Circle of Ferelden sent only seven mages to Ostagar. I asked King Caelan's permission to come and seek a greater commitment from the Circle. Why doesn't the King come himself? The King must remain with the army. He is quite busy, after all. Do you think I could join the army? I don't know. Do you? Yes, I think I could help. Then perhaps I shall speak to Irving about this later. Darkspawn are a greater threat than blood mages, even abominations. It takes decades for the world to recover from a blight. I wish the Chantry could see that. We must stop at nothing to defeat the Darkspawn. <laughs> ah, listen to me. An old man's rantings can't be very interesting. As an apprentice, old men talking have defined my life. <laughs> yes, I'm sure they did. <laughs> have you ever seen someone use blood magic? Once, in my youth, just after I joined the Grey Wardens. I was traveling with my mentor. We encountered a group of Templars hunting a blood mage. They were quite far away, so I cannot be sure of what I saw. 
he forced some of the Templars to turn on their fellows. It was dreadful to behold. He would have escaped had he not overlooked one Templar who snuck up behind him and cleaved his head in two. Hmm. I wish I had that power. Be careful what you wish for. Power is treacherous. I've seen many people, great leaders, consumed by it. Can you tell me more about the Grey Wardens and Darkspawn? Certainly. I am intimately familiar with these subjects, after all. Have there been many Darkspawn attacks? A horde has formed within the Korkari Wilds in the south. If they are not stopped, they will strike north into the valley. We Grey Wardens believe that an Archdemon is leading the horde. That sounds ominous. Darkspawn do attack the surface in ragtag bands, but Archdemons are capable of rallying the Darkspawn, turning them into an unstoppable force. A horde of Darkspawn, a veritable army. It is dire news indeed. I fear this is what we will have to face. I thought the Darkspawn were destroyed in the last flight. We can't seem to eradicate them completely. Somehow they always come back. I've heard about Darkspawn sightings, but an entire horde? They usually move around in small groups, but there are always more of them. Lurking underground, biding their time. And the king is mustering an army to beat back this threat. Yes. Perhaps it will be enough if we play our cards right. Why were Irving and Gregor arguing about the war? It is not my place to comment. Persuade? Oh, please. I'd like to know. Gregor serves the Chantry, and the relationship between the Chantry and mages has always been strained. You've realized by now that the Chantry merely tolerates magic? They watch only because they feel they must. Yes, but they were arguing about the war. Any mages who join the King's army can unleash their full power on the Darkspawn. In fact, I'm counting on it. Gregor may be afraid of what will happen. What if the mages decide they no longer want to be governed by the Chantry? What are your opinions on the matter? I believe we must defeat the Darkspawn, one way or another. My opinions end there. I'd like to talk more, but I have duties to attend to. Of course. Don't let me keep you. Uh-oh. See if I can sneak I'm glad out. I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? Going through another personal crisis, shall we? Very funny. <laughs> I need to talk to you. Do you remember what we discussed this morning? Why are you whispering? He looks very suspicious. Shh! I just want to make sure we're not overheard. We should go somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. Only if you promise to teach me your blood magic. You better not be wasting my time. It won't take long, I promise. We should be safe here. You realize there's a priest standing right here. Not a priest. I am merely an initiate. Okay, Jowen, what's going on? A few months ago, I told you that I met a girl. This is Lily. Hmm. This fat cow is your lover? She's right here! <laughs> I'm sorry, Lily. It's all right. I just wonder if this is truly someone we can trust. She may be abrasive at times, but I trust her with my life. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Why are we talking about trust? Remember I said that I didn't think they wanted to give me my harrowing? I know why. They're going to make me tranquil. 
They'll take everything that I am from me. My dreams, hopes, fears, uh. my love for Lily. All gone. <laughs> uh, but if you can't feel, then you can't feel sad about it. That makes it so much worse, doesn't it? Not knowing how much you have lost. They'll extinguish my humanity. I'll just be a husk, breathing and existing, but not truly living. It's going to be all right. No, it won't. They're going to destroy me. <laughs> I won't put Lily through the pain of seeing me like that. Oh. Why would they do this to you? There's a rumor about me. People think I'm a blood mage. They think that making me a circle mage will endanger everyone. Are they right about that? Can you teach me? Of course not. But it's not safe here for me anymore. I need to escape. I need to destroy my phylactery. Without it, they can't track me down. We need your help. Lily and I can't do this on our own. Give us your word that you will help, and we will tell you what we intend. What do I get out of helping you? The joy of helping a friend? The satisfaction of knowing you've prevented a gross injustice? The repository holds more than phylacteries. Join us, and the artifacts will be yours for the taking. Aren't you sick and tired of the circle running your life? You could get out of here with us. Now you're talking. I suppose I could. You have so much power. Once you're free, they wouldn't be able to stop you. Hmm. Then I give you my word. Thank you. We will never forget this. So, this had better be a good plan. I can get us into the repository, but there is a problem. There are two locks on the phylactery chamber door. The first enchanter and knight commander each hold one key. But it is just a door. There is power enough in this place to destroy all of Ferelden. What's a door to mages? What if it's a magical door? We have no choice. We cannot get our hands on both keys. I once saw a rod of fire melt through a lock. You could get one from the stock room, but a Wayne doesn't release such things <clears> to apprentices. I know what I have to do. We should stay here. One mage at the stock room will attract less attention than a mage, an apprentice, and an initiate. Good idea. Good luck. Our prayers go with you. He's still a fat cow. Get out of here. here we go. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? What can I buy here? The Stockroom is not a shop. Oh. Your mentor should have clarified this. The stockroom stores components used in magical and alchemical experiments. Do you require something? What if I slip you something under the table? I need a rod of fire. Rods of fire serve many purposes. Why do you wish to acquire this particular item? I need the rod for my research into burning things. Here is the form, Request for Rod of Fire. Have it signed and dated by a senior enchanter. I will release a rod to you once I have the signed form. Can we take anything we need from the stockroom? It is procedure. I need a senior mage's authorization to release an item. Thank you. You know fun, Wayne. Very blah. Yes? What's that door over there? That leads to the Circle's cavern storerooms. There are caves running through the rock that the Circle is built upon. But of course, you know this. Actually, no, I didn't see any mountain beside the tower. Can I look inside the cavern? Uh, no, uh, I, I can't let anyone in there just now. Why? <sighs> there are just things in there that I would prefer to keep safe. Are you stealing from the Circle stores? No, of course not. I just have... I, I am in the midst of stock-taking. 
checking inventory, and I, I can't let anyone in there in case they m mess things up. Yes. So why are you out here and not in there? Because I am taking a break. I hate the musty smell of caves, and I, uh... Ugh. Look, I'll tell you the truth. Just keep it to yourself. Sure. There is an infestation of spiders in the caves. I don't know how they got in there, but it's probably my fault. I was promoted to senior enchanter less than a fortnight ago, and I don't want anyone to find out. They'll think I'm incompetent. Well, are you? Well, I, I hope not. I, I mean, no. I'm a good mage. <laughs> I've just been so busy with my new duties, I haven't had time to clear out the infestation. I suppose I could be up for some spider killing. If you cleared them out for me, I would owe you a favor. A big one. All right, I'll do it. Is that all? I really have nothing to offer you. There are things in the storerooms, of course, but I'm not at liberty to just give them away. All right, I'll do it. Wonderful. Here is the key. Oh, and be careful in there. I'd really like to keep the damage done to the Circle's property to a minimum. Sure. I'll be careful. Well, all right. Well, all right. Ooh, 13 coppers. Buy myself a meal at Burger King with that. Kind of fun.
And so I shall. What shall we do here? Lovely. <laughs> oh my! Of course. Blood on me. Fades traders. Plus one magic. Fried spiders. All right, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to put one point in the cutting. Yeah, let's think about this. What's more important, fireball or a cone of cold? It's a defensive weapon, the cone of cold is. <clears throat> hmm. Glyph of Perilous is, is more immediate for stopping someone. It's more of a defensive weapon. I think we've got been focusing too much on offensive. Let's go with a defensive weapon. Glyph of Perilous. Is. <clears throat> No, we'll go stone fist. Stone Fist is both offensive and defensive. Sometimes it knocks somebody off their feet. Plus, it's a good combination to use with the uh, Winter's Grasp. Sometimes you can shatter them. Another creature ahead. See how that works now. Well, all right. Lovely. Quest updated. Go to all the spiders.
you're back. Are the spiders gone? I've dealt with the infestation. Really? Oh, that's wonderful. You've saved my hide, I'm sure. And I owe you a favor, so if you need anything, I'll be here. What about signing this form? A rod of fire? Hmm. Oh, sure, I could sign that. What would it hurt? <laughs> here it is. Right. There you go. How's that? Just prompts keep those spiders away in the future. Oh, I will. Thank you again. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. <clears throat> My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Here is the signed form for the Rod of Fire. Everything looks to be in order. Here is the rod you requested. Thank you so much. <clears throat> I hate waiting. It makes me nervous. I have the rod of fire. That was quick. To the repository, then. Freedom awaits. Time to get out of the tower. The Chantry calls this entrance the Victim's Door. It is built of 277 blanks, one for each original Templar. It is a reminder of all the dangers those cursed with magic pose. How do you know this? Initiates must learn the Circle's history if they are to work with Templars and Mages. Looks like any other door to me. The doors can be opened only by a Templar and a Mage entering together. The Chantry provides the password which primes the ward, and the Mage touches it with mana to release it. I trust you have the password. Yes. I got it from a Templar who recently accompanied a Mage into the Vault. And he wasn't suspicious of you. We have chatted on many occasions. I believe he trusts me. So what must I do? First the password. <clears throat> Sword of the Maker, Tears of the Fade. I heard something. The password only primes the door. Now it must feel the touch of mana. Any spell will do, but hurry. Abracadabra. Do you have the rod with you? Mount the locks off. What's the matter? Why isn't it working? I don't know. Lily, something's not right. I can't cast spells here. Nothing works. These wards carved into the stone. This must be the Templar's work. They negate any magic cast within this area. I should have guessed. 
Why would Gregor and Irving use simple keys for such a door? Because magical keys don't work. How do you keep mages away from something? Make their powers completely worthless. That's it then. We're finished. We can't get in. What about that door there? Where does it go? I don't know. Do you think it's another way in? That door Duh. probably leads to another part of the repository. What are the chances of there being another entrance? Or do we have a choice? No. I'll take any chance I can get. We can't get into the chamber the way we planned, but we're not about to give up. We can see where this door leads, but I don't think it'll be easy. It looks locked for one. The rod will work on those locks, shouldn't it? Yes. Let's hope they haven't warded that door as well. Let's hurry. We've wasted enough time. I'm not We've come too far. Oh, that's not good. I will do it. Also eager, aren't they? As you desire. Well, all right. Go. Hmm. Oh, I think I have some blood on me. It'll wash out. Health focus. Kinds of goodies in here. Malarium does. So I shall. Yeah! Dear me, what a mess. It's icky. Headless ghost. As you desire. My my, what ah. uh, uh. do? Of course. Why do they bother? Well, if I must. Oh 
boy. Creature ahead. Whoa. That was close. <clears throat> and so I shall. As you desire. Prentice's Amulet. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> Five dollar. Of course. Huh. 
another headless sentinel. Now this should be amusing. As you desire. Oh my! And so I shall. Okay. What do you think this does? Why does the Circle keep so many Taventa artifacts in storage? It's history, Lily. And it's fascinating. This is... <clears throat> I can't imagine what this one does, though. I've seen pictures of things like this. They amplify any spell cast into them. I bet we could use this to break into the phylactery chamber. I suppose we could amplify the rod's power. See where the mortar might be decaying behind that bookcase? Let's take a closer look. And so I shall. It should be pretty easy to get this out of the way. All right. Go ahead and move it. I can't do it on my own. You have to help me. If we work together, we can shift it. Come on. Can't you have that fat cow help you move it? She's heavier now than we I just am. need to find a way to get through this wall. Use this with the rod. I'm sure it'll work. Hurry, the clock's ticking. This is the phylactery chamber. It we must find Jowen's phylactery, quickly. It's a pity they've taken mine to dinner room. Would you destroy yours too if it were here? Of course, I could escape with you. You still can. I don't think they'd be able to catch you once you're out of here. You'd know how to evade them. You're clever, not like me. Let's just find my phylactery. I'm going.
Right here. As you desire. All cooled off? Good. How delightful! And so I shall. Whoa. He looks angry. That's my phylactery! You found it! I can't believe this tiny vial stands between me and freedom. Oh, so fragile. So easy just to be rid of it. To end its hold over me. And I am free. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. I do not want to stay here a moment longer. All right, this is Moonstalker at That Place for Walkthroughs with Lilith of Dragon Age Origins. Get you on the flip side.